And the 49 Flames exhibit is part of Chelsea's Say No to Anti-Semitism campaign, and it's meant to tell the story of the Holocaust through the eyes of Jewish athletes. Well, joining us now to tell us more about this project is Rola Brentlin, the head of special projects at FC Chelsea. So, Rola, can you give us some background on how this project came about? How long has it been in the works, and how did Chelsea go about telling the stories of these incredible athletes? Um, well, I mean, all of this really goes back to three years ago when club owner Mr. Abramovich um, initiated a club-led campaign to fight anti-Semitism. And we've carried out a number of initiatives since. We've taken uh, fans and stakeholders to Auschwitz. We've played friendly matches around the world uh, to raise awareness and funds um, for this cause. We took our women's team to Israel just last year. And I guess turning to arts was a way for us to try to find an additional tool about how we can talk about the subject. Uh, we were introduced to Solomon last year in Israel. Uh, we saw some of his works around Tel Aviv and Jerusalem and quite immediately knew that we wanted to do something together with him. And I think since we started working together, we really understood the enormous power there is to combine both sports and art. Um, to try to educate in a different way. And I think that's really what we want to show with this exhibition, that nobody is immune to anti-Semitism or racism and what happens if it's not stopped in time. Why is it so important to tell these stories now? Well, when we started the campaign three years ago, we did so because we saw that anti-Semitism was on the rise and we wanted to do something to contribute. And unfortunately, I don't think that has changed. I think through the pandemic, we've seen conspiracies, again, attacks, um, hatred being spread online. So I think this is a way for us to really use our expertise and resources to communicate to a worldwide audience of sports fans um, with a slightly different perspective through the eyes of these athletes. Now, this is not the first time that Chelsea has teamed up with Solomon Souza for a project. Last year, uh, the club owner, Roman Abramovich, commissioned a mural honoring murdered Jewish soccer players during the Holocaust. I mean, should we be expecting any more collaborations coming up? And what other projects are there in the works right now to, to fight anti-Semitism? Well, the next step in this specific exhibition is that we're really hoping that we can develop a physical exhibition at the stadium. So we are trying to look at different ways of doing it um, due to the restrictions and pandemic. But as soon as there is a safe way for us to do it, we, we hope to be able to invite fans from all over the world to come and see the exhibition live at the stadium. What impact have you seen from these projects? Have you gotten any feedback from Jewish athletes or families of the honored fallen athletes? Uh, well, when we first, um, when we did the mural um, earlier this year for Holocaust Remembrance Day, um, the grandson of Julius Hirsch, one of the uh, football players who's on the mural, uh, contacted us. And we were really happy that we managed to invite him and get him to the stadium before all of the lockdown started. Uh, so he could see the mural live, he attended the match, and really gave us also an opportunity to learn more about his grandfather.